as far as this uh, ASU site protected one, it's a great loss to, Nike, to, the, to the country. It's a great loss to the country and a great damage to the educational sector of our country. Look at it. Many of the children, all, many of the students, they are being on at all since February. They are, in psychologically speaking, there are some students, as far as their nature, intellectual ability is concerned, they are not supposed to stay at home for long because it will affect their, their brain. Rate of assimilation will change. Rate of perception, they will, it, this prolonged, protracted this strike is enough to expose the student to a very bad life. They will continue to move with people they are not supposed to move with. Some of them will join this uh, bad uh, association. Some of them, in the process, because of due to the long and protracted uh, strike, even education will become meaningless to them. They have, uh, even what they have gained in the past, no, they are using semester or something, but there will be no current. They will be able to, uh, to link the past with the present. When they resume now, it will take some of them a very long time before they can be able to readjust and become adapted to school life. So it's a very serious something. It's a bad thing to youth. Because unfortunately, some people they don't know the implication. What is happening now, they have told even long time implication on the educational sector. Some people may now decide not to have interest again in education. Even some people may, may be exposed and join bad company. Some of people, when they, even it will not be easy for them to readjust and to readapt to the way, the way they, are, they are learning in the school. And we are also, even some ladies, they will fall to the hand of bad boys. They can become pregnant in the process. Even some of them, it is not easy for them to stay long at home because Knowledge is all like a, there is a continuity, continuity in learning is very, very important. There will be no proper linkage between the, the, what they have learned and the, what they are going to learn. Even some of them, this damage will make education to become, they become disgusted with life. To learn more again, they will find it difficult. However, it, it, it appears if the government is not uh, know the value of education as the, the, as the way they should learn it, and it is know that no country, no country can raise above the level, the standard, the quality of its of, of their education. So by not by toiling with the life of the young ones, it's a disaster. It's a something that they will regret. The, the, this country will not like the. Uh, the negative effect of it. Because education should be given priority because it is universally accepted that no nation can rise above the level and the quality of its education. The quality of education starts from these, those people, those students in the school, those students that are now learning and they have asked them to stay at home. It's very, very serious. One cannot imagine the, even it had built present implication and future implication. What the government can also do to improve the standard of education. What make education, what make people to be developing lukewarm attitude to education today is that the, those people passing out, no job for them. There's no motivation. And uh, as a result, in those days, education is for changing anybody that educates is a children, or if the children can be able to go to university, you get it now, they will think that they, that one will elaborate, the, even will break the poverty, future circle of poverty. It will be able to do a lot of things to help other people. But one of those people, after they have spent all the money, the resources of the family on the child, going to university, land, they have stayed there for many years, coming out without job. Is that good? Government should stop politicizing education. Frequent change of policy that may have negative impact on education should be stopped. And then, uh, and then not only you know, this uh, strike now. Somebody suggested this idea of uh, allowing the parents to pay some little joke of 10,000. 
They could have done that before. Instead of wasting the life, the, the, the lifetime of the children at all, the young ones, if they pay 10,000, 10, and the, the, the educate and the, if that can be the end to the strike, it's not too much. But because they will be claiming that uh, education, free education, free that, the country is not ripe enough for such economically. Then, one day, and uh, even by paying little money and be able to give quality education, not quantity education, quality education, because thousands of people, 20,000 passing out from university without nothing to write home for it. And uh, why? The education, the quality of education need to be improved. And uh, what can improve it is that they provide them necessary encouragement. That quality of education will have positive impact on their services. And if the service is, if they are able to render quality service, that will not, when a, a doctor is passing out, there are some doctors that cannot prescribe medicine for a, somebody suffering from FIFA, uh, malaria fever. When they are not giving sound education, in those days, nothing like that. Nothing like that. So I tell, my advice is that government should stop politicizing education. They should be objective in their policy formulation. They should try to implement uh, policies that will be beneficiary, that will make people, that will tend uh, that will have positive impact on our economy, on our social life, on our moral life. I think that you know the type of education to be rendered to be fortunate enough when a, a Guinea cannot repair his car, when a Guinea cannot be detect what is wrong in his car. It's not that. That's a more or less useless education. Thank you, sir. Education must be relevant to the need of the society. Oh, where you